Hi YouTube, today I'm going to be starting a series. It's going to be a breakdown of the Figkin app and in this series I'm going to be explaining all the basics and maybe a little bit more of the nuances of the Figkin app, how you can use it to your advantage and um, just explaining all the components of it because I think as a first time collector it was really daunting to me and I had a hard time figuring it out so hopefully this video series will help you and all the new collectors um, kind of navigate the app a little bit better and it'll help you understand how the app works in all of its details and so I'm going to break it up into smaller segments so that they're easier to digest and the videos don't get too long. Today's video is going to be about um, just the basics of the app like what the Figpin app is like what everything kind of means. Without further ado we'll just get started. So I guess the first order of business is what is the app? The Figpin app is basically a digital component to your Figpins and so whenever you purchase a Figpin from the store then it comes with a serial number on the back of the pin and each pin has a unique serial number and you can enter that serial number into the app that you can get from either the app store or the Google Play store. When you enter the serial number into the app it shows you the different stats and information about the pins. Basically, the app is a digital way to see your entire collection and it helps you kind of keep track of all of your pins and their different information and it's really cool actually to be able to see your entire collection in just your phone and so if, you, if people ask you what kind of pins you have, you can kind of just show them screenshots of your app. Throughout this whole series, I'm just going to be using my Captain Marvel Star Force pin as an example just uh, because it has the most amount of stats in the app in terms of like all the different like chronos, cohorts, things like that. So to unlock a fake pin, you basically just open... <laughs> I don't know why I'm showing you guys how to unlock a big pin. I'm pretty sure you, most of you guys know how to do it, but in case you don't know, when you open the pin, there's a display case, right? And then you take the pin backer off of the pin, and then I'm not going to show you guys the actual serial number, but like, if you like look at the pin on the back, there's going to be like a serial number where my pointer is, or like there's just a number there. And then, so when you go into the app, you can actually enter that serial number into the app using the little unlock icon, and that will show you your pin stats. When you unlock a pin, you'll be able to see if the pin has either not been unlocked before or if it has already been unlocked by somebody else. If the pin has been unlocked by somebody else, then you're not the original unlock of that pin and it's totally fine you can submit a verification video there's a lot of resources actually out there that tell you how to submit a verification video so it's pretty straightforward there's really no difference between being the original unlocker versus having the pin already have been unlocked when you get it but in terms of like score or power it doesn't really make a difference when you unlock a pin that has previously belonged to someone else's collection that pin keeps all of its original stats so the original unlock position the original unlock date all of its power and the boosts that all stay with the pin and you release it from your collection and when someone else unlocks that pin to their collection. When you go to the homepage of the app, you can see two different numbers. There's a green number and then there's a purple slash white number. So the green number is your collector score. The collector score is basically everything that has to do with you as a user, such as like creating a username, changing your avatar. Those all contribute to that collector score. Basically what the collector score does is every 500 points you get towards your collector score gives you one boost. If you have 2000 collector points, then you get four boosts per 24 hours. And the fig pin power or your collection power, that's the purple and white number, that basically is everything that your pins contribute to your collection. And so every pin has a certain power score to it and your collection power is just all of those pins powers added up together. The purpose of the collection power score is for app exclusive pins and so uh, we saw this back a few months ago with Reboot where you had to have like a certain power score in order to purchase it from the app and they're going to be doing that with the Ultra as well so if you want to be able to get app exclusive pins you're going to want a higher collection power. So when you click on a pin in your collection you get to see all of the scores that your pin has accumulated uh, depending on different things and I'll go more into detail in another video 
video for now I want to try to keep this as short as possible so when you view a pin there's that little purple slash white number underneath the pin right so that is actually going to be that pins power that pins power is the multiplication of your factory score and your story score on that pin for example the factory score on my Captain Marvel is 78 and then the story score is 123 so when you multiply the two together you get 9594 and that's my fake pins power your factory score is something that you can't really control but your story score has to do with like the pins like overall story during the time that it's spent in your collection and that is something that you can control and so the higher your pins story score gets and the higher your original factory score is then the higher that pins power is going to be and contribute more points to your collection so that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video about the basic app breakdown I promise in the next video I'm gonna go over the stats and more detail on how all that works hopefully this video was helpful to you guys and make sure to share this video with newer collectors if they have any questions and also make sure to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel for more content and i hope you guys all have a good day thanks for watching bye